Hi, my name is Sandra and I am sitting in a beautiful, beautiful location in San Miguel de Allende at Casa Marino and you might wonder why I'm here. Well, a couple of years ago I decided that although I love my inner light and I believe every woman has an amazing inner beauty, I also love matching that with our outer beauty and I realized that it was time for me to do something different and to up level my face, my looks, just a little bit. I'm a buyer's agent in Durango, Colorado and I work with the public quite often. I also love giving uh, public speeches and so I'm seen a lot in the public eye and I just felt it was time to um, bring my looks up to how I felt inside. I did some research because plastic surgery can be really daunting. There's all kinds of horror stories out there and there's also some beautiful stories and I wanted to be part of a beautiful story. So I started to do some research about what it would take uh, to have this procedure. I started with a doctor near my town and found out that the things that I wanted to have done uh, would take about four hours and he would do them in his office as an outpatient. So uh, someone would bring me, I'd have the procedure, then I would be driven home and I'd have to deal with a husband and a teenage son uh, under recovery and that did not sound like too much fun to me. So I thought, well, if I could go away and have this procedure, that would probably be the best thing. So I started looking and uh, I love several different countries. I looked in Costa Rica, I looked in Thailand, um, I looked in Mexico, and I did some comparisons, not only with prices, but with locations and aftercare. And I asked a lot of questions, like how long uh, would I actually be in the hospital? Would I be staying overnight? Uh, or would it be longer than that? What kind of uh, doctors were performing this? What were their, um, their medical credentials? Did they have a good referral base? All the kinds of things you would want to do before you'd have somebody actually working on your face. So I did that and through that process uh, I narrowed it down and made a decision that where I wanted to go with a wonderful friend of mine um, was to Dr. Kolaker. Uh, he practices uh, uh, in near San Miguel and just a delightful, delightful human being. He is very professional, he's very kind and caring and I found out that I would be able to stay in the hospital under his care and the care of his staff for three full days after my surgery which sounded great to me. So I had my procedure, it was fairly easy. So had my procedure, my friend had hers, we had uh, doctors and nurses and coming in two to three times a day just checking on us to make sure everything was okay and the high level of professionalism and, and just the integrity for our health was amazing. So I, it, it worked out great. Uh, the best part though I think after you know having a new and wonderful face is just the aftercare uh, process that has been set up between Dr. Kolaker and Casa Marino through uh, a wonderful woman named Pat. Now what Pat does is she makes sure that when you get out of the hospital and you arrive in her casa in San Miguel that everything is taken care of for you. I mean talk about comfort and it's not over-the-top luxury, it's not that kind of thing, but it's the most comfortable, serene setting to recuperate in. There's beautiful colors, sounds, uh, flowers everywhere, uh, a wonderful staff. Uh, she has an assistant named Fabiola who is just, you know, she's fabulous. Fabulous Fabiola, that's good. Anyway, she's wonderful and took care of all of our needs. Our prescription drugs that we needed were provided for us when we got here. We had uh, two wonderful healthy meals a day and it was just a very beautiful place to recuperate and to feel just, a, just to feel happy and whole. And each day we'd look in the mirror and go, oh my gosh, 
it's getting worse. And then we go, no, it's getting better. It's worse. It's better. And swelling does different kinds of things. But if you look at my face right now, I had surgery one week ago. Okay. And I had, um, four procedures done a little bit on my lips. I had a little bit done, um, bringing uh, my skin up. I had my eyelids, upper and lower eyelids done and a little bit on my neck and Gosh, I think I could walk downtown with some sunglasses on today and feel pretty cool about it. So I just highly recommend that if you're interested in doing a procedure and you want to feel cared for, I would really suggest that you check this whole situation out. The doctor, the kind of care you get, as well as the, as well as, um, the care that you get with Pat. Dr. Kolaker actually, who I think the hospital is about 45 minutes from here, actually came here for a visit. Uh, he came here to check on us five days after our surgery. We didn't have to go anywhere. And he came and took care of us in a very professional manner. So I just think from A to Z, from the beginning to the end of an experience like this, if you're interested in having some kind of uh, facial or other type of plastic surgery and you want, I mean, a lot of women come for a tummy tuck or, you know, breast augmentation, something of that nature. But if you're really interested in that and you've been afraid to look outside of the United States, I mean, I would just say to give yourself the luxury of looking into that because there are highly qualified people here and my experience was excellent. Sandra, thank you so much for sharing your story about your facelift experience here in San Miguel de Allende by Dr. Kelliker. We are very appreciative and I know our viewers will be appreciative too to see this very detailed account and highly personal account of your facelift experience. Thank you so much.